Mr. Di Soggio, how much better is your approach compared to others? I think um, we, we, we haven't uh, developed uh, a trading strategy. We have integrated uh, multiple machine learning concepts and technologies into a single fully automated general purpose investment engine. What does it mean? It means that it can operate across uh, any type of liquid securities, futures contracts, ETFs, liquid funds, cash securities like stocks, across any investment styles, such as long only, long cash, and long short. So it's a general purpose in that way. It's not just a product, it's a turn, it's a one-stop turnkey solution for asset managers and wealth managers. What distinguishes your approach from other business models? We license our technologies, such as we operate investment strategies, we invest our own money, and we manage our own money using machine learning strategies. At the same time, and more importantly, we license our technologies to asset managers and wealth managers so that they can deal with their clients delivering a better outcome in terms of performance or risk. Why is artificial intelligence superior to classic portfolio management? Classic portfolio manager is based on a lot of flawed assumptions that have led uh, investors to erroneous conclusions about portfolio diversification and, and risk. Uh, conventional quantitative methods are fundamentally static rule-based uh, approaches, whereby uh, you and I could come up with uh, an idea or an hypothesis about how markets operate, and then we codify these ideas into, into rules. Um, this is a sort of dogmatic approach, because uh, you, you, you think you can understand the markets, and you think that the markets is not going to change your behavior. So a static rule-based approach actually is not going to work over time, because markets do change and evolve with time, sometimes softly, sometimes abruptly. Machine learning technologies instead can be defined in three words, are self-learning, adaptive, and predictive. What does it mean? Self-learning means that they are a bottom-up approach. They learn from data, so they develop models based upon what they see, and they change parameters on the fly. The fly means according to what is your decision-making point. Your decision-making point could be one day, could be one week, could be two weeks, could be a month. So they recalibrate as a function of what they see in the market, which is nothing else than being adaptive. And predictive means that they make predictions about market behavior, and risk. The fundamental question is, what is risk? Will the regular portfolio manager soon be out of a job? I wouldn't say so. Uh, I would say they might be out of the job if they continue to use conventional models, which are flawed. Um, because there is an interesting statistic that you should look at, which is 1% of active managers only outperform benchmarks over the last uh, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years period, and netto costs and uh, with risk readjusted. And this cannot continue. And as a result of that, you have seen money going out into passive funds. So what we have decided to do was to partner with portfolio managers and wealth managers. So that is not about men versus machines, it's about men with machines versus men without. And if you are a man with machines, for sure you're better off than being without. What are the major positive and negative effects artificial intelligence will have on our lives for the future? Artificial intelligence has been with us for a while now. And um, every, every technology innovation is usually accepted with uh, a lot of resistance. Then we get used to it. Um, millions of people then use it, and all of a sudden we are fine with it. Now we use on a daily basis search engines, and we find them useful. Google, for example, is based on AI. Uh, we use Netflix on a daily basis, or 
during weekends to pick up movies, online recommendations. So we are used to that. So fundamentally, these type of technologies are helping us to take better and smarter decisions. So they will improve our quality of life.